All right, I'm here with Coach Brewer of Avery High School. Obviously, you guys are 2-0 and on the season, had some big wins. Mitchell, uh, last well, the first week, and then Wes Wilkes last week. Uh, talk a little bit about what you th see in your team so far. Well, they play hard. The biggest thing I can say about the guys, they, they come out and they play hard. Uh, after going through the film over the weekend, I thought, my gosh, how do we win the game? They, you know, they're making mistakes. They're young. They, they do some things that, you know, we can correct, but they, they play hard and they play as a group. Right, well, let's talk a little bit about uh, Trey Jackson, your quarterback. He's obviously developed a lot uh, in the last two weeks as well. And we were, I was going back and watching the film from the last two weeks, and some of the throws he's made out there has just really surprised me. We talked, you know, in the earlier this year about, you know, at losing Alex Villanueva and kind of replacing that quarterback. And you were go had like a little bit of a, a two-quarterback competition going on. Trey won the job, and he's done great so far from what I can tell. He has, he has. Trey, sometimes you can watch him during practice and you think, my goodness, he can't, you know, I don't, we don't know if he can play or not, but the, I tell you, he's a gamer. On Friday night, he, he does everything right. He, he is, a, I don't know that he's made a bad pass during the, during a game. And uh, he, he, he studies, he works hard during the week and, and he corrects mistakes. And he, uh, he's, he's been super for us. How's the film development go with him? Do you guys like sit him down after practice or before practice and give him looks of what you guys are doing? What uh, what Taga, for example, this week's doing, and how you kind of want to attack them, or is it more just kind of on the field stuff? Well, it's some of both. Trey, we, we're on the huddle program now, so the kids oh, yeah. have access to watching film at home, which has been a great advantage for us. But then too, we we try to show them during the course of the week what the you know what you're going to see, and and when we get in each formation by watching watching Watauga's film. So we try to show them close to what Watauga's <laughs> looks going to be as we can, and you yeah. know just work from there. Watching Watauga last week play Ash County, they do a lot of different things on defense, especially with that cover three, how they drop their safety way back. So let's talk a little bit about Watauga. What do you see in all in that game? Well, Watauga, you, you can kind of throw everything out the window when we play Watauga. It's just one of those backyard games. It's a lot of emotion in the game. It's, it's the one game I think both communities really come out for. And, and so, you know, you can throw a lot of stuff out the window with that. But it, we'll talk, it's always a hard-fought battle, and we're just expecting a tough game. Yeah, I know it's just coming Friday. It's kind of a big rivalry. I guess Avery's won the last two games. Is that correct? I think so. I'm not sure. I, I can't keep up with that. <laughs> <laughs> so what, is there anything that's kind of worrying you a little bit about Watauga, Colin Augustine, or any other standout uh, players absolutely. for them? Absolutely. <laughs> Colin yeah. Augustine, he's, <laughs> he, he's the one. He, he's, he's a – He's a hard-nosed football player. He runs the ball hard. Yeah. He He's going to be tough. Yeah, we saw against Ash late in the fourth quarter last week's kind of where they started handing him the ball, and he kind of let him down there and put mm -hmm. him up that, that one score that they actually needed at the end. Is there anything uh, differently you guys might do on defense to try and stop that? I, I, you know, as good a player as he is, it's going to be hard to just key on him because the couple of receivers they have look like they can stroll. Yeah. You know, and so so they they're, it, it puts you in a pickle when you're on defense. Yeah. You know, if, if – Colin was all they had. We could sell out to stop the run, but you can't do that with the Watauga with the pass game they have. Yeah, we talked about that last week, uh, talking about the Ash game, about how they might have a little bit of an advantage on Ash as far as out in the perimeter with Baker mm -hmm. and, and them out there, and then Ash would be better interior with their size. Right. Well, I mean, at, Watauga started to run the ball late on them late, late in the fourth quarter with Colin Augustine, and were successful, and they also have that speed outside. So it'll be interesting to see how you guys match up. I know offensively, uh, how do you guys think you're going to do against their defense? It looks like you guys are pr doing pretty well so far this season. Well, well, from week to week, we don't know how we're going to do. We just hope we continue to get better. Right, we're, right now, we're we're a little more concerned about Avery than we are with Talga. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking your time to speak with me this week. Yes, sir. Thank Look you. Look forward to the game on Friday. Thank you.